operations manager in the Newcastle office. I just wanted to quickly share with you my highlight from the Choose to Challenge campaign. It's definitely seeing the way in which the firm comes together to celebrate events like this. The Newcastle office held a quiz over lunchtime on International Women's Day. Topics on the questions included law, popular culture, historical figures, clever chance, all, obviously all relating to uh, inspirational women. It was just a really fun event. We hope you enjoyed our Virtual Internationals Women's Month this year. There have been so many fantastic events hosted by our wonderful colleagues and inspirational speakers around the globe. It is a subject close to my heart to make gender equality a reality and I hope this has encouraged you to challenge yourself when celebrating all of our successes. A highlight for me was when Orin Begum read out her beautiful poem and I really hope she wins the Stormzy Award. My highlight of IWD Week in Hong Kong has been forging new relationships with colleagues throughout the office and hearing a diverse range of voices from our fee earners and business professionals at all different stages of their careers on how they choose to challenge themselves and challenge others. I'm Tim Cornell here. I'm a partner in the Washington office and head the U.S. antitrust practice. I was really excited to learn that we celebrated our 50th anniversary of having a, a female partner at Clifford Chance. I think it's very illustrative of the boldness of Clifford Chance's diversity and inclusion efforts and how we are setting the bar for other firms and others in our profession. Let's keep it up. Have a good day. Cheers so difficult to choose a highlight of such a great program for the Choose to Challenge theme this year. I really took away from the advocates speaking during the pro bono event the incredible impact they're having on individuals' lives and I just wondered whether we talk about that enough outside the firm. Also it was great to have a continental European event bringing together some business professionals and lawyers across the region to talk about the challenges they face every day. The main highlight of the Choose to Challenge campaign for me has been hearing about other people in the network and their stories and how they've chosen to challenge. I've also really enjoyed being able to share my experiences and my stories with the network, which has really had a global reach due to the number of virtual events we've been able to hold this year, which has been really fantastic. The of our International Women's Day months of celebration was the insight and authenticity that we're able to get from the really senior female lawyers at some of our client partners with the events that we had. So the GC of CBC Capital Partners, Lauren Livingston, and Vanessa Cowling, the head of corporate legal at EasyJet, both spoke really frankly about the challenges that people have experienced during lockdown, but the real focus there should be on building back better, for example, in working patterns, post the COVID situation and I thought there were some really inspirational and provocative messages about how we can take that forward. So really hope that we all choose to challenge proactively and positively as we look at the world post the International Women's Day Celebration Month. International Women's Day 2021 was coming together with our clients to discuss issues of gender parity and how everyone chooses to challenge in their own way. I am forever grateful to be able to participate and host events that align our fundamental values with that of our clients and is at the heart of what we do, championing gender parity. As part of our celebration of International Women's Day, we were given the opportunity to reflect on the work of Maya Angelou, the truly awesome black woman author and activist. I missed the book club event, but years ago, I had the privilege to sit next to Maya Angelou for dinner at a literary festival. We were all in awe of her, but I was struck by her ability to make us all feel relaxed and the conversation over dinner flowed freely and everyone around her got involved and had a great time. Maya Angelou is attributed with the quote, I've learned that people will forget what you said. People will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. 
The Choose to Challenge campaign has made me recognise that we need to think more about how our behaviours and an off-the-cuff remark or joke may make others feel and how it feels if we let an inappropriate comment or behaviour go unchallenged. Going forward, I want to challenge myself more and I also will try to challenge others. The highlight for me this year in the International Women's Day Choose to Challenge campaign was just seeing the variety of voices and the variety of ways that people are choosing to challenge. So inspirational. Thank you to those who spoke out. Thank you for those who have their pictures taken. Uh, and thank you for those who are recording uh, videos like this. I think the cumulative effect of this campaign is that everyone is raising up each other in a really meaningful way. Thank you.